Hey YouTube, it's Tristan from Smart Home Point here. I bought a Ring Doorbell Pro a couple of months ago and then I started looking at how to wire it up. Uh, I have a Detta Doorbell, which is a mains voltage doorbell, and I got a bit confused about bypass your internal doorbell and one or two other installation instructions. And to be honest, I put the box to one side and I forgot about it for a couple of months. But I've then spent the past fortnight having a look, or the past week having a look at exactly how you install and wire up the Ring Transformer, what you do about your old data doorbell, and I'm now a lot more confident to actually install my Ring Doorbell Pro. So I want to shoot this video and walk you through exactly what you could go do step by step uh, to actually convert from a data doorbell into your Ring Doorbell Pro. Let's take a look. Okay, so in the consumer unit, uh, in this particular house, I've actually got a bell, you can see there, um, but also the doorbell might be powered off the ground floor lighting circuit instead. Whichever one it is, turn it off. And now we go over to the doorbell itself. I've already loosened the cover, so I'll take that off. And obviously the power should be off. Uh, I can just double check that with a quick voltage test pen. Yeah, that's definitely off. Okay. Right, so what we've got here is a Detta C350 doorbell. Uh, and basically this cable down here that's coming in is a gray mains cable, and that's the input. And then this cable here is the output cable going to the doorbell uh, and handling any doorbell presses. Uh, it's actually Cat 5E cable. Uh, most of the strands aren't used, or half of the strands aren't used. But the blue and white are as are the orange and white one, they go in to there. So essentially, the input earth isn't used, obviously, but the live ne neutral is on the input, and then this is the output. So now let's have a look at what I plan on doing to change this to the Ring Doorbell Pro Transformer. Okay, the first thing to note is that the Ring Transformer is designed to go into the consumer unit to attach to the DIN rail in the consumer unit. Uh, however, obviously I've got a mains voltage cable come in from the consumer unit into the data uh, doorbell transformer or doorbell unit uh, on the wall. And as a result of that, I don't really want a mains cable come in. That would essentially be the output here to go into my ring doorbell, which I don't really want. So what I'm going to be doing instead is stripping back the data tape uh, doorbell completely. I've taken that off the wall. So I'll be left with an input cable coming in and the Cat 5E cable coming out. And I'll be replacing it with this, which is a Wilex ESE2 enclosure. Uh, in there, it actually has a DIN rail uh, enclosure. So the, uh, the ring transformer, once I've wired up, will literally clip onto the enclosure. And then it'll look quite neat on the actual wall. You'll be able to see exactly what this is doing because it says ring and it'll look quite neat. And, and this is sort of the correct way of doing it, in essence. Um, in terms of the wiring, what I'm gonna be doing, let's put that to one side for now. So the bottom five and six is where the input voltage comes in and it actually says the input voltage there, 220 to 240 volts uh, AC current. So this is where, you know, the cables, the input cables that you've seen on the bottom left, they'll be coming into here. And then the output cables need to go into one and four, which is explained in the ring uh, instructions. So the output cables will be coming out of one and four. Uh, and what I could do is just put one and four going straight into the ring doorbell here and here, and it will actually work. However, one caveat of that is that uh, you've got in the installation hardware, you've got this doorbell bypass kit. Now, if you actually take off the sticker, not that you should really have to, this should be made clear from the instructions, but if you take off the sticker, you actually see this says the Ring Pro Power Kit version two. And if you do some Googling, what you actually find out is that this is a circuit breaker. It has a self-resetting fuse. So essentially what you should do and Ring's own support pages confirm this, even though it's not in the uh, installation guide. But what you should do is one of these input cable, uh, output cables, sorry. So either one or four should come into here and then carry on into your 
Ring Doorbell Pro uh, over there, sorry. So in essence, you've got two input cables, a live and a neutral coming in to positions five and six. You've then got an output cable, let's see number four, go in directly to one of the terminals on your Ring Doorbell Pro, while the other output ter uh, cable, number one, which is that one, will be coming into the Ring Pro Power Kit. It'll then be coming back out of there onto the other Ring Doorbell Pro terminal. And that actually then completes the circuit. It, keep, it, it introduces this Pro Power Kit version two, which is the circuit breaker. It's got self reset and fuse. So what that means is if anything goes wrong with this, if there's a short, or maybe if you accidentally say that it's got a manual doorbell and it doesn't, uh, and that causes a short when somebody clicks the power button or the push button, then this will, the, the fuse in this will flick and your consumer unit, obviously the bell or the downstairs lighting circuits will flick off. And then you just need to flick it back on and your ring doorbell is protected. So without this device, uh, which comes in the ring installation hardware blue box, without this device, it will work. You know, if it follows the wiring instructions, but you know, this is just an added safety feature. It's a circuit breaker and it's worth, in my opinion, having. So just to recap, I'll have input cables coming in here in terms of wiring up. My number four output cable will go directly to this terminal, whilst my number one output cable will come into and out of the Ring Pro Power Kit, and then it will go to this screw on the Ring Doorbell Pro. So I'm gonna do that now. I'll film, I won't film every single step, but I'll film at the key stages. Let's see how this goes. So I've removed the old data doorbell. You can see it here. It's just completely removed from the wall. And then up on the wall itself, you can see the two cables. This is the output cable, the Cat5e cable, and this is the supply input cable, the mains voltage one. Uh, that's now with the uh, the Wilex enclosure. You can actually see it's been attached to the wall. You can see the two cables, the input on the bottom and the output on the top. What I did here was for the output cabling, I butchered a old Cat5e cable just to get some uh, the blue twisted pair. So you can see that that's going into the Pro Power Kit. This was a lot easier than actually, you know, splicing the cable in situ. So I'll go into position one in the transformer and then I'll connect the existing cable into this Pro Power Kit here. Okay, so that's the final cabling now in the Wilex uh, box. So you can see here on the left at the bottom, you've got your input su supply cable, you've got your earth just safely in a terminal, and then you've got your live and neutral uh, there coming in at the bottom. And then at the top, you've got your two output cables, your two twisted pairs with the one in position one going into the pro power kit as discussed earlier. Okay, so that's how it looks uh, with the actual cover on. You can see it says rings, you know what the device is doing. Obviously I'll need to do a bit of fill in work, but that's e easy enough. Now let's look at the outside. Okay, so that's the existing doorbell with the cover removed. Uh, so what I'll do is just strip that off completely and that's done now. You can see the two cables coming in. Uh, so they'll just be going into the terminals on the back, which you can see there, the ring doorbell has actually been attached loosely uh, there. So now I just need to turn the power back on on the consumer unit and you'll see it goes into setup mode and then I can actually switch to the app to set up. And that's it really, you go into the Ring app then and, and set up and it's quite easy to do. And then before you know it, it'll be online and you can actually look at your front door. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.